Hi, this is Ariane from La Fée de la Mer, handmade soap shop in the Magdalene Islands, Quebec, Canada. Today I'm at my soap shop because I've had some requests from uh, some of the people who look at my YouTube channel to show how I cut and wrap my mountain pour soaps. So I brought the cranberry soaps that I made yesterday and I will just show you how it's done. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick look at my uh, soap melt and pour soap table so you can see the soaps uh, when they're finished wrapping. There they are. That's the cranberry that I made yesterday. And then we got blueberry, uh, mango and melon, chocolate, raspberry. This is an Acajun flag soap. This one is coffee and um, honey and vanilla. This is my rainbow soap. This one is a sea bar. It's got kelp and salt. This one is oatmeal and honey. I got my starfish soap right here. Uh, cucumber and goat's milk. Labrador tea. This one is um, lavender and chamomile with uh, sand. So it's an exfoliating bar. This one is calendula and patchouli. And I've got my um, sandy soap. It's got sand in the bottom. So it's like a pumice stone in the bottom, but except it's made with sand. So you've just seen all of my mountain pores. Okay, so here's the, the half brick of uh, soap. I'm going to turn it upside down so that I see my embeds. And I have a gauge that cuts my soap at one inch. I just place it and push down. And then the next time I cut, I cut right through the embeds and all the way down. So what happens, one soap, every soap has a side with the design and the other side is plain. And this is where I'm going to put my label later on when I'm done. Now here is my uh, shrink wrapping machine. It's from Uline. It's an online supply store. So I placed two soap bars in the shrink wrap film in the machine and seal the first side. Once that's done, I seal the end of um, the package and then I place my soap bars right in the middle, seal the middle, and that's what I'll do for the rest of the whole loaf of soap that I just cut previously. Here, using my DeWalt heat gun, um, I gently heat every side of my soaps to shrink the sides first. I flip them over, shrink the other side, and once I'm done with that, I will take um, each soap and shrink the front and shrink the back. Having a cutting mat is very useful for us. Um, I design and print every label from my computer on my uh, laser jet printer. And then we, once printed, we just uh, take an X-Acto and scissors and cut every label. I align all of my soaps, the plain side up, and I place my label on top, place them in the machine, and wrap them a second time just as I did previously. I do that with all of my soaps, and I pile them up um, so that I will be able to shrink wrap them easier in a couple minutes. Once the soaps are piled up, I take my heat gun again and then I shrink wrap every corner 
and then turn the pile over, shrink wrap the other sides of the, well, the other corners. And then I do the sides going slowly up and down. And I'm always careful not to touch the um, shrink wrap material because I don't want it to rip and open up. And then I do the front and the back of the soaps. And that's pretty much it. That's how we label. I mean, that's how we <laughs> shrink wrap our soaps with the labels on. This way, um, the, so the label doesn't get wet from the soap because there's already a plastic layer in between the two wraps. So I hope you're happy. You've seen how I wrap my uh, melt and pour soap. So all of my soaps are wrapped the exact same way. Uh, they are all cut exactly like this one. The only difference is that some of my soaps don't have any embeds. So when I make those soaps, I don't need to flip them upside down to see where my embeds align. But they're, usually I place them pretty evenly. At every two inch, I put an embed. Uh, and then when we cut, we know that each soap will be one inch thick and that we will have a standard size soap. So like if you compare, these two soaps are exactly the same. Yep. And this one is a blueberry cream soap. It's got two swirls and little blue blocks. I really like this one. It's one of my favorites. But this one is my customer's favorite, so I keep making it. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye bye.